Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got some, I've got a list here of things. Wow, thanks. <laughs> to faff about mm. or to faff around. Mm -hmm. They both mean the same thing. Mm. Um, and it means when um, you're, you know, we talked about procrastination. Yeah. Sometimes when we're procrastinating, we faff around. Ah, this is good to know. Mm. I, we, you know, we do things that um, we don't need to be doing. Mm. And this, when, there's something more important that needs to be done. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, um, I mean, my, I, I wrote on the Instagram post, you know, my children faff around in the morning. <laughs> okay. So, Your children. <laughs> they're meant to be getting ready for school. Mm. Um, and they, you know, they sit on their beds staring at their phones. Uh, um, so, you know, and faffing around on your phone is mm. quite fun. You faff around. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have something important to do, but I don't feel like it. So I'm faffing around, uh, yeah. checking Instagram or yeah. surfing websites <laughs> and so on. Often when we faff around, it's mm. um, it's before having some, it's when we have limited amounts of time. Mm. So it means that we're not punctual. So ah. if you faff around, mm. it means that you you don't always get out of the house mm. on time or you're mm. running, running late. Ah, running late. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you Are you a punctual person? Yes, very punctual. <laughs> and how do you find people here do you find people are punctual here in the UK? Uh, yeah I thought uh, British people are not punctual but uh, they are punctual more punctual than I thought yeah but, mm. I mean it depends on the person yeah mm, I think I my ex-husband was not a punctual man um, he used to faff around a lot Mm. And he, he would always be running late. Ah, uh, there are some people <laughs> like him. Yeah, there's definitely some people that aren't, <laughs> that aren't punctual. Okay, let's look at the next one. Um, have you heard of bits and bobs? Oh, never. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> okay. The the n is um, we say bits and bobs. It's the n represents the and. Mm. And bits wow. and bobs means um, things. So you could say, I faff around doing bits and bobs around the house. Ooh. And the bits and bobs could be, um, you know, the cleaning. It could be, um, or it could be, you know, it could represent anything. But it's a, just a loose word to describe things. Mm. You, you can use it to describe physical things oh. as well. Mm -hmm. So you could say, oh, there's loads of bits and bobs. In the bottom of my handbag. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a nice, it's a nice little expression. Describe, mm -hmm. you know, little things. Ah, little things. Ah, yeah. sounds very natural. <laughs> yeah. When I can use it. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have lots of bits and bobs around your house? Yes, yeah, so many. <laughs> there are so many bits and bobs in my room. So okay. I use it background <laughs> you, <laughs> I cannot show them yeah are you um I mean bits and bobs can describe that sort of clutter as well mm. are, you, are you a person who is surrounded by clutter yes <laughs> surrounded by clutter me too <laughs> yeah. sometimes I easily get uh, I lose something lost and I cannot find them <laughs> because okay so many so, things yeah mm. so you could say you have to search search through all your bits and bobs to try ah, and find mm, what you yes, yes. Ah, this is nice, bits and it bobs. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice, I like the bits and bobs. Mm, I like it. So, yeah. Um, right, the next mm. one is wonky. Wonky? <laughs> no idea what it means. Right, okay. <laughs> Wonky is when something isn't level, so it's it's um, it's it's kind of unbalanced. Ah. So you could hang a picture on a, on the wall, mm. and it wouldn't be quite. It would be at an angle. Ah. 
Yeah. I see. So oh. it's wonky. Wonky. Hey. <laughs> wonky. I mean, wonky is very informal. Ah, oh, yeah. It, and it's you know, it's opposed to a tech. You know, it's not a technical term. Mm. It's slang. Mm. Mm. But you can also use wonky to describe things that aren't working properly. Uh, hey. Like you could say, um, mm. oh, my printer. You know, my mm. print. The paper in my printer mm. is wonky. Ah, <laughs> if the paper in your printer wasn't mm. let, do you know what I mean? Wasn't level or was it an mm. angle? Okay. Ah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Very useful. <laughs> Can wonky. you think of something you could describe as wonky? Wonky. Um. Yesterday I watched Netflix video and a man appeared and uh, to make a child laugh. He he. His glasses were wonky. Wonky. That's, that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah. Wonky glasses. Yeah. Wonky I, glasses. I, yeah. I wear wonky glasses all the time. <laughs> um, what about to wind up? Wind up. Yeah. Ah, this means the relax. Uh, wind up. That's wind down. Ah, wind up. Wind, wind down. Is relaxing. Mm. If you're ah. winding up some mm. somebody, you mm. can physically wind up a mm. clock, yeah, or a ah. wind up a a machine that needs mm. you know, needs winding. Yes. But in slang, mm. if you wind somebody up, mm. it means that you tease them and you annoy them. Hey. Yeah. Oh. So um say um. I mean, I don't, I don't tend to use this expression with my kids, but say mm. if my kids were being annoying, mm. I could say, you're winding me up. Ah, you're winding me up. Ah, like that. Ah, you know, I, I might use it to my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, stop winding me up. Ah, stop winding me up. Ah, that stop, sounds very natural. Stop winding me up. I've had it up to here. <laughs> It have just do this mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had it up to here. Oh. I've had up to here mm. when you say it means I've had enough. Ah, oh, I've had it up to here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. You'll, you'll probably be quite shocked if you say, stop winding up, I've had up to <laughs> You think you can... I want to surprise people. <laughs> <laughs> it should. Are they very strong words to use? Um, no, they're not. No, they're it's not okay. offensive. Mm. Ah, uh, not offensive. Mm. I mean, if you say often with words, it's the time. Mm. It's uh, yeah. you Could use be. them. So mm. if you said, oh, "I've had out here in a really angry <laughs> voice," then it would be offensive. Um, but if you say it in a sort of joking way, uh, it depends on how like, to say it. Yeah, yeah. delivered. So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's have another one. <laughs> this is a bit like knackered. Oh. It's another word for knackered. Have you heard of this? No. <laughs> Zonked. <laughs> okay. Zonked. Yeah. So, I'm absolutely zonked. Oh, um, I'm absolutely exhausted. Mm, okay. I'm absolutely zonked. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange, Yuki, because when you say these expressions, you sound, you know, it makes you sound so much more British. Yes. Um, that that you know, they're just. I don't know. They're part. They're such a big part of our language. These words. Ah, uh, is it uh, southern people use or all over the UK? I think with, I think with most of these, I've mm. tried to choose ones that have be will be used all over the UK. Ah, oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, I think they're used all over the UK. Mm. I mean, there's, you know, I'm in London, and there's mm. obviously a lot of kind of Cockney sort ah. of. English, which is sort yeah. of specific to London, mm. Mm. 
But these these words aren't Cockney. These are more kind of just general slang terms. I see. So. Yeah, it's weird. It's here. It's not north, but there are so many Cockneys around this village. Are there? Yes. It seems they liked the life in countryside. Okay. Uh, when they oh. get old, so they yeah. moved here. So there are so many Cockneys. Okay. And do you get? I mean, do you get to speak to? Your, you know your neighbors or people in the village very often uh, sometimes I go to the pub and we talk with each other and my yeah. family members and uh, they are Cockney so I oh, okay. myself don't know their accent but yeah. <laughs> and the people say there are so many Cockney right okay. mm. 